watch it. Now, here go the two men, Steve Avetz, nearest to us, who in his time has held six world records, and Wasim Akram, the Pakistan pace bowler on the far side, looking brilliant at the moment, absolutely flowing Wasim Akram, and Steve Avetz staying with him. Sally Jones in the lead, but she's got two brilliant athletes behind her. Just look at the way he goes over that six-foot wall, Wasim Akram who was the youngest bowler in cricket history to get 10 wickets in a test match. He was 18 at the time and going so well at the moment. So can Sally Jones hang on here? Here comes a real test swinging over into the net, which she does very well indeed. Starts to climb. Wasi Macron still hasn't let up. The question, of course, is has he gone too fast? Has he judged this well? Has he judged it badly? Only time will tell. Steve Avet also going strongly. No need to tell you how fit these people are, of course. But being fit for an athletics track or a cricket match is one thing. Being fit for this assault course is something completely different. Wazim's knee is just letting him down a bit. That's a really nasty jump coming down from that. Let's see how Steve Avet does it. Uh, he hangs on quite nicely there. But it's Wazim Akram in the lead. In fact, Steve has gone into second place now ahead of Sally as Wasim comes to that scramble net. That will really test him, climbing up 30 feet there. And Steve just at his ankles now. If anything, Steve has closed the gap just a touch. And Sally not that far behind too. But over the top there as though it didn't matter at all, was he, Macram? And it is 30 feet high up there. It's not very pleasant at all. And that's a real athletic flip over from Steve. So some good performances, some excellent techniques going on here. Now we'll see how Wasim takes the water jumps. Always a good indicator of fitness. Doesn't go for that too much, but powers up the inverted V. And uh, nicely into the second water. And Steve just runs across the water, almost ignoring it. Powers up and down the inverted V. And he's going, well, just falls back with there. That'll lose him a couple of seconds. Just runs across the water, almost ignoring it. Powers up and down the inverted V. And he's going, what? Sally's struggling a fraction now. But the battle between Wasim and Steve Avet. Now, can Steve produce one of those finishes that have made him so famous in athletics tracks around the world? Or has Wasim got the strength to hang on here? And he really takes a big push off there, trying to get maximum speed coming down that aerial slide. Heading for the water now, and he makes a terrible mess of that. Now that's given Steve Avet a chance to come back now, because that wasn't a good landing at all from Wasim, and that's much better from Steve Avet, sort of bottom out in the water there. So Wasim heading now for the last obstacle, the flat net, and Steve Avet right on his trail now, so it will be decided under that net by technique, by strength, by determination. Steve really pushing himself through. That's great stuff from Steve Avet, but Wasi Macra makes it. He had the strength to finish. He comes across the line. Brilliant run by Wasi. Great run by Steve.